Anyway, today, welcome back to the Sound Video Doctor here on YouTube. Today, we are going to be talking about affordable sunscreens, both mineral and chemical sunscreens that won't break the bank, but how they looking on the skin? We'll talk about it. Keep watching. So one of the things, one of the fallacies about sunscreen that's out there in these streets is that sunscreens are expensive. Some of them are expensive, but they, it doesn't need to be expensive. And quite often I reference that if I wasn't reviewing sunscreens on, 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 you know, on this YouTube channel, that I would not be very picky and like my body sunscreens would literally be the Walgreens two for five dollars. Now, although a lot of these are body sunscreens, you could theoretically use them on your face. My facial skin is oily, my body skin is dry, so I typically like different products for my face and, and body. But if yours is not, you know, go ahead and go in and let have. Um, another point that I wanted to make with this video, and I really hope that I can remember to say this in more sunscreen videos, if you work for a company where you have a flexible savings account, FSA, health savings account or flexible savings account, or talk to your human resources to find out what your um, pre-tax options are for buying certain um, health related items, right? So sunscreen is definitely something that is eligible, some of them, and you have to kind of see like where you buy it from and whatnot. There might be some stipulations, but in general, sunscreens are available for FSA, which pretty much means that you're able to buy this with your pre-tax income so you can save a little bit of money, honey. <laughs> so definitely look into to that because that's another way to save and you know FSA accounts are great for not just sunscreen for a couple of other things so check in with your human resources because I don't know I haven't worked for a corporate uh, corporation in 11 years so I don't know anyway let's get into these sunscreen so first up from Walgreens. Now, majority of these are from Walgreens, but we got we got a mix in here. So this is the Walgreens Sensitive Skin SPF 50. It's oxybenzone free, fragrance free, oil free, water resistant for 80 minutes. The filters in here um, are octocrylene and zinc oxide. So this is a hybrid uh, chemical mineral sunscreen. It's got the zinc oxide in there, uh, which is great typically for people who are acne prone, but make sure you check out my acne prone and sunscreen video because there are some things that you may want to look out for in your sunscreen uh, if you're acne prone, other than, you know, make seeing if it has zinc, because zinc has some like healing properties that are really good. My notes here for this sunscreen. Now this is something that you could use on your face, um, or you can use this on your body. So this was just $2.99, so it's also part of the, like the two for five and you can kind of mix and match. So, you know, make sure you check out your little your local Walgreens. You can also get it online as well if there's no Walgreens near you. Now, there is a bit of a cast with this one. Um, if you have facial hair or if you like me, your, your edge is a little bit thick, you can notice that, you know, the, the white cast kind of gets trapped in the hairs around your face, uh, but it's not bad, right? It does kind of get trapped in the facial hairs and your baby hairs and, you know, it, it, but it's not, it's not too bad, but it can be a little bit more apparent in the hairs on the face. I also felt like this had a nice texture to it. Um, it's creamy, but it's not like heavy. It felt lightweight. It blends really nicely into the skin So you don't have to be like tugging to get it on I, I really like that about it And then for me even though I don't typically use a sunscreen like this on my face I would mostly use something like this on my body. This was not bad on my face It didn't have like a very heavy feel to it um, the cast wasn't that bad and then of course, if, if, you, if you're someone who wears makeup, you know, it's not going to look as apparent with your makeup on, but no flash. <laughs> Mineral sunscreen wearers, you should know by now that that flash photo is not your friend. Save your flash pictures for night when you don't have your sunscreen on, because, <laughs> Now, if you're someone who, you know, you're allergic to chemical filters, I would definitely say maybe give this a try. Definitely patch test first because we don't just throw things on our skin and then like hope for the best. But do a patch test because a lot of times when people are allergic to chemical sunscreens, it's typically 
sometimes certain filters, maybe it's avabenzone, maybe it's oxabenzone, but sometimes it can also be other things that are in the ingredient listing. So if you're someone with, with particularly uh, reactive skin, make sure you scan those ingredients. Next up, the Walgreens SPF 70 Sport Sunscreen. This one is fragrance free, paraben free. It says it won't run into, into your eyes. It says it's water resistant up to 80 minutes. Look how much, do you get a big dotty tingle sunscreen here, you know? Eight fluid ounces. I don't know what kind of Jamaican trendy just came out, but let's just run with it or pretend it never happened. I keep repeating it because this is a lot of sunscreen for not that much money. And then if you're someone who you can utilize your FSA savings, you can save a little bit more on that. Um, the only thing with this, this is not something that I would wear every day. This would probably be like if I'm going to the gym, if I'm going to work out outside, which doesn't really happen because the bees and the squirrels, it's, it's a lot or if I'm going to the beach, or if I'm on vacation, because when I go on vacation, I am outside a lot, <laughs> okay? And something like this with, you know, an SPF of 70, water resistant, would be ideal to me. Now, water resistant does not mean waterproof, so of course, if you get wet, for whatever reason you get wet, you know, spare me the details, uh, you want to towel off, maybe bathe, depending on <laughs> what you got wet with, <laughs> towel off, and reapply your sunscreen and of course you know when you're outside is when you really need to be diligent about reapplying your sunscreen because things like your sweat oils and the other elements can kind of break down your sunscreen throughout the day so now we're gonna switch it up so pacifica has this uh mineral bronzing sunscreen uh pineapple flower i guess is the scent of it i didn't really notice a very strong fragrance with this when i used it um it's spf 30 water resistant um, up to 80 minutes. So the UV filter in here is zinc oxide. And um, it says it's 100% vegan and cruelty free. So the thing with this is that, you know, the packaging make you think that like, wow, I'm gonna be a bronze goddess this summer. And you might be, depending on your skin tone. If you're my skin tone or deeper. But let's talk about some good points. It's tinted, it has iron oxides in it. We know iron oxides provide some additional uh, protection from visible light. However, iron oxides aren't the only material that helps protect from visible light. And for more on that, check out my video on iron oxides that I did with one of the dermatologists that was in a study that tested tinted mineral sunscreens on a deeper complexion. Now, <laughs> you're gonna get a cast. It's not gonna be that bad. But, like I mentioned in my mineral body sunscreen video, which definitely check that out, um, your skin is going to look less radiant. And um, th that's going to be a personal preference kind of thing with your skin looking less radiant. I prefer to like light my, let my skin glow as much as it can. Um, but if that doesn't bother you, this might be a good contender. Uh, if you still want to try something like this, uh, but you want to kind of have that like glow still, make sure you check out my mineral body sunscreen video because there will be tips on how you can kind of cover that up with something that also contains iron oxides. You know, it's a cut, like, okay. Now, one thing to note about sunscreens that come in a spray format is that if you're going to apply it to your face, you want to spray it in your hand and then apply it to your face. There are a few that you can spray directly to your face um, usually a mist. It'll typically tell you in the directions whether it's, you know, safe for you to spray it, you know, on your face directly or if you need to spray it in your hand and, and apply it to your face. Uh, with your body, you can spray it to your body, but you still want to apply it and rub it in with your hands or spray it in your hands and then apply it to your body. Reason why is because with these mists, you, you know how mists work. Some of it's here. A lot of it's there and a lot of it is there. It goes everywhere. And you wanna make sure when you're wearing sunscreen that you're getting it everywhere and you're getting a protective film, almost like a protective shield from it. Because if you miss a spot, guess what? That UV gonna be like doo -doo 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 -doo, boom and get you right there. You don't want that. So make sure you apply with your hands. So next up, the Alba Botanica Sensitive Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. This is fragrance free, water resistant up to 80 minutes. The UV filters in here are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Um, this one, the cast wasn't too bad. I did remember having to like, kind of like, <laughs> keep, keep on rubbing, keep on rubbing, which is pretty common with some mineral sunscreens. You kind of have to, um, you know, you can't just throw them on, you know? You wanna apply in thin layers and up until you have, you know, the adequate amount of coverage because, you know, if you take a big glop of mineral sunscreen and you try to spread it around, it's just like, 
not gonna happen. <laughs> um, but this one, the cast wasn't too bad, but I did notice that it made my skin, um, especially on my body, less radiant looking. So again, like similar with the one from Pacifica, if you want, if you want to bring that radiance back, I had to have some tips that you can do in my mineral body sunscreen video, so make sure you check that out. Now, when this comes out, it looks thick and pasting. It just looks like, oh my God, I don't wanna put that on <laughs> my face. Um, but it's actually not bad on the face. It has a satiny kind of finish. I prefer more of like a satin matte, but um, this is something that you could, you know, be able to use on your face and body. Uh, I believe they come in different sizes. This one is a four ounce, so it's a little bit too big to like carry on um, if you're traveling. But you know, you could definitely take this into your check baggage so you don't have some like big thing of sunscreen unless you're going away for a really long time and you need something even bigger. Pretty decent option. The cast isn't too bad on that one. Um, using some of the tricks that I've but I've showed you in past videos to kind of like you know, maybe throw a little bit of a powder that has iron oxides in it to you know get that extra visible light protection as well as kind of mitigate that cast. Check those videos out because those will give you some tips. I'll have them above in the call. Back on down to Walgreens. So next up we have the Walgreens Dry Touch SPF 100. Uh, this one is oil-free, lightweight, water resistant, uh, up to 80 minutes. The filters in here are avabenzone, homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene, and oxybenzone. So there's no mistake here that these are chemical filters. This is actually kind of like a dupe for the Neutrogena Dry Touch. Uh, you're gonna get 3.4 fluid ounces here. Now this is not part of the two for five dollars. This one's just a little, you know, she's slightly a little bit more expensive. Um, but sometimes you can probably get a BOGO, buy one, ha buy one get one half off sale. This one's probably gonna be closer to like eight, nine bucks, depending on where you live in the country. Um, but I definitely thought that this was really, really good. I actually like this one. This one's a little bit more cosmetically elegant than the two for five dollar ones, but Sometimes I just, you know, the two for five ain't bad. But if you want something a little bit more cosmetically elegant, you know, maybe you'll still, you know, chip in a couple bucks. It's still less expensive than like if you went to Sephora and got 3.4 fluid ounces for about nine bucks. And Sephora and sunscreens that are 1.7 ounces are like 30 bucks. So, you know, good, good, good price range and good amount of sunscreen that you're gonna get. And you know, again, if you can use an FSA, you can save some more money. Now, the formula on this is very thick and I can be someone who, I, did, I like thick formulas on my body, but maybe not so much for my face. Um, I did feel like so much of it, it's like so creamy and emollient um, when it comes out. Like, <laughs> if you're someone like me who doesn't like, you know, thick, creamy formulas, I do feel like, Ooh, are they gonna use? Are they not gonna use enough on the face? Um, so be careful of that. If you're gonna use something like this on your face, make sure that you're using enough. Um, typically, you know, the formula for how much sunscreen you need is based on you know the amount of space that your face and body takes up, two milligrams per centimeter squared, um, which for most people turns out to be about a shot glass full for the body, and about two to three fingerfuls for your face, neck, chest, ears. You know, behind the ears, a little bit there, get all in there. Um, but anyway, I did think that it was a little too thick for my face, but it still dries down to a nice matte finish. So if you're looking for that kind of gusto, you know, this one's a, a, a nice one. It's just a little bit more than the two for five, but still a great sunscreen. Another thing to note about it, it does have that like sunscreen smell. For people who are like, ooh, I just hate that sunscreen. It does have that sunscreen smell. It doesn't bother me, and a lot of things bother my nose. <laughs> but that the smell of that doesn't doesn't bother me. Walgreens again. Now Walgreens does have sunscreen specifically for the face. This one is the daytime facial moisturizer. It's fragrance free. Has ceramides, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid. Um, three fluid ounces, SPF 30, the filters in here. So you're gonna get a combo um, of chemical and mineral filters. So there's homosalate, octocrylene, zinc oxide. So if you're someone who's typically allergic to chemical UV filters, I would still say give this a try, but definitely do a patch test. Um, and then of course, look at the inactive ingredients to make sure there's nothing in there that, that could be a possible irritant for you. This one was really nice and lightweight for the face. It had a satiny finish, which is not what I love <laughs> for the finish for my face because satiny can turn into greasy really quickly <laughs> eventually with my oily skin. And that's kind of a hard look to keep up throughout the day, especially if I'm not wearing makeup and I'm gonna reapply with this. But if you're someone who likes that type of finish, 
uh, definitely check this one out. This is not two for five though. So yeah, this one's a little bit more expensive, $13.49, but you're getting three fluid ounces. And again, they are sunscreens, facial sunscreens at Sephora that are 1.7 ounces and like $30 or more. So still a great price, even though it's, you know, it's not the two for five, but it's still, I think a great price. And again, you know, check to see if you can get FSA and uh, those type of savings on it as well. Next up, the Walgreens. SPF 50 clear complexion for face. This is oil free. It says it's breakout free, um, water resistant, 80 minutes, 3.4 fluid ounces. Now this one is not part of the two for five. So this is $8.99, but you're getting 3.4 fluid ounces of sunscreen. And again, make sure you check your FSA eligibility um, at work. The filters here are avabenzone, homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene, oxabenzone. So this is of course a chemical sunscreen. Um, although this was really lightweight, I did find it to be really shiny <laughs> and that's not something I love in a sunscreen, but if you like that glowy kind of dewy look, um, this one's not bad. I mean, $8.99, you get 3.4 fluid ounces of sunscreen and maybe you might even catch a sale. Walgreens also has like those like reward things where, you know, you buy other stuff in the store and maybe you get like coupon. So definitely something to check out. All right, so next up, the Walgreens Sport SPF 90 spray. This is uh, paraben free, says it won't run into your eyes, water resistant up to 80 minutes. You're gonna get 5.5 ounces of product. So this is not the 2.99 or two for five. This is $4.14, but you're gonna get 5.5 ounces of sunscreen. Um, again, with sprays, you're gonna spray it in your hand and then apply it. You can apply a spray, body spray sunscreen to your face, uh, but you'd wanna spray it in your hand and then apply it to your face. Um, when you're applying to your body, you know, you can spray on your body, but then you blend it in with your hands or spray it in your hands and then apply it to your body. Again, the thing with mist, they can get all over the place and you wanna make sure that it's actually getting on your skin where it needs to be to protect you. Um, also make sure that you do it in a place that's not gonna be really windy because the wind is just gonna take up all those particles and get them almost everywhere except for where it counts. So just be careful with the spray sunscreens. Um, but I do like a spray sunscreen for um, travel. Like if I'm gonna be out and about in the streets, this is you know really simple to reapply my sunscreen on my body. Um, someone had asked a question about getting sunscreen on your back. Um, I don't know if I'm the only one with like freakish, <laughs> freakishly long arms, but I am able, not today because I did arms in the gym and ouch, but I am able to kind of like get back there with my sunscreen. But if you're someone who, you know, you're by yourself and you don't have someone to help you get behind there, a spray sunscreen is a good alternative because then you can just kind of spray back there. But you know, just make sure you spray an adequate amount that you get an even coating you're not gonna be able to blend it in with your hands. So just make sure you get a really nice even coating, let it dry down before you put your clothes on. Um, Cause then otherwise, you know, it, it kind of defeats the purpose a little bit. <laughs> let it dry down. Um, I'm trying to think of some other alternatives. I don't want you to put like, uh, use a brush or anything like that because then you can absorb some of the sunscreen in the bristles of the brush or a sponge or a rag or something like that. Um, those might be fine if you apply an excess amount of sunscreen. So if you have like something like a tool that has like a long handle, maybe you could use that. But you know, just make sure you put on enough, not even enough, you're gonna need to put on extra sunscreen because some of the sunscreen is gonna get absorbed into the materials of the thing. But yeah, I liked the finish on that one that had like a satin matte finish. So it's not like matte but it's also not satin, so it's not it's like that nice medium that I like. Um, I also picked up this SPF 50 Sports Spray. This one is 2.7 ounces. <laughs> I paid more for this <laughs> than I did this. So this was $4 and change, and this was $5 and change, okay. Um, but what I like about this is that this is small enough to fit in like most purses, um, but definitely something that you can take uh, as carry-on because it's under the three ounces, as long as it can fit in whatever, you know, the guidelines. Um, but I, I thought that this was really great. Didn't notice a difference between the 50 and the 90. Well, obviously other than, you know, the 90 is a 90 and this one's a 50. Um, but I did like this, again, keep it in my purse. I can easily spray it to reapply on my body. This one's not bad on the face either. Uh, but again, if you're applying to your face, spray it in your hand and then apply it to your face. So next up from Pacifica, the Mineral Bronzing Face Shade Coconut Glow SPF 30. Water resistant up to 80 minutes. It's 1.7 fluid ounces. 
This contains zinc oxide as the sole UV filter here. Um, this was really interesting because, you know, you see mineral bronzing and you're like, okay, but you know, anyone who's about my complexion or deeper, we've been here before. <laughs> yeah, the cast on this was like, it was as if the white, like a white cast went and sat outside and got a little bit of a tan, but then put a highlighter on that was like three shades too light and just like sat there. <laughs> the, the cast is, 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 is kind of bad. It's, it's not bronzy for us, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's a no. You could put makeup on top of it, but I feel like that's a lot. Like there are better tinted mineral sunscreens out there. You know, make sure you check out my videos for the ones I've tried before. Um, albeit they are more expensive, but um, but some of you guys like extra steps. So who am I to deny you? So, you know, go in and let it have. Next up, the Alba Botanica Sensitive Mineral Sunscreen SPF 33, fragrance free, says it's a clear spray. We'll be the judge of that. Water resistant up to 80 minutes. The filters in here are zinc oxide. Again, with the spray, you know what you do. Or, but never this. <laughs> we don't go here with the, the sunscreen sprays. Unless you're using like a makeup mist, um, and some of them, you, they still tell you to spray it in your hand and, and apply it to your face, but you know, read the directions, it'll tell you. Can I say that this has a, I wouldn't say it has a cast, but it's definitely going to take your skin's radiance down by a couple notches, like about three or four notches, like boom, 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 boom. So, um, uh, <laughs> There is a video on mineral body sunscreens where I showed ways that you can kind of like bring that radiance back. It does involve extra steps, um, but if you know you don't mind doing all of that, you know, go in and let have. Now, one thing I will, you know, say that I, I tend to mention um, pretty often when we talk about mineral body sunscreens, for those who, who find that chemical sunscreens are irritating to their face, some of those people still wear chemical sunscreens on their body and that's perfectly fine for them. Um, you can try that, but again, like I always say, please do a patch test, try it out on a small area of skin that's not going to be blatant if, you know, you do have a reaction to it, um, and see how that works before you go and slather something all over your skin. So, so next up, we have the Neutrogena Beach Defense Oil-Free Body Sunscreen Stick SPF 50 plus 1.5 ounces. Um, I paid $8.99 for this, but sometimes they have a, a BOGO, buy one, get one half off. The chemical filters in here, avibenzone, homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene. So this is, of course, a chemical sunscreen. Now, one thing about sunscreen sticks is that they can be incredibly convenient. Um, this one I took with me actually to travel when I went to Georgia to surprise my sister for her birthday. And one, it, you can take it in your carry-on bag. Um, it's under the three ounces and it might not be ca counted as any kind of like cream or anything in certain countries Maybe they might consider it a cream and you may have to like, you know, I guess declare it or whatever it's called um, But I was able to get through, you know, no big deal with this being not I didn't even have it in a plastic bag I just had it like in my purse um, But one great, great thing about sunscreen sticks is that they're really easy like convenient like you can throw them in a bag you know, rub them on. Now they're convenient in that you can like kind of carry them around. They're likely not to melt uh, and they're easy to travel with. But I did find that it took a little bit longer for me to apply my sunscreen because I'm rubbing it on and then I kind of rub it in my body to make sure that I'm getting that nice even coating. Sunscreen sticks are also great for like covering exposed areas of the scalp. I do have a video on scalp sunscreens that you can check out if you wanted to see what other options like spray options are out there. Um, but sunscreen sticks are usually really great for that. Uh, they're also nice for like in between the fingers and things like that. Now, because sunscreen sticks tend to be, you know, really thick, um, I did watch a video where they were applying sunscreens under a UV camera and um, the sunscreen stick seemed to be the one that like people was like almost foolproof with how people were applying them. So that's really great. Um, but the downside to it is like they can feel a little greasy. Like that one felt a little bit greasy. I didn't mind that, of course, for my body because, um, you know, we like a little bit of grease down on the, on the dry body skin. Uh, but on my face, it, it, it just wasn't something that I would like to feel on my face. You could use it on your face if, you know, you don't mind something that's a little bit more moisturizing, a little bit more, you know, greasy. If, if you don't mind that, you can use it on your face. Um, but 
Sunscreen sticks are really convenient and nice to have, especially if you're gonna be like reapplying a sunscreen throughout the day. I would probably, as much as I like a sunscreen stick, uh, for me, I think I would rather have a sunscreen stick in my bag to reapply throughout the day because I don't have to worry about like some, some you know, lotion squeezing out and getting all over my bag um, or maybe like some like liquid like spilling all over the place. So sunscreen sticks can be where it's at. You know, let me know below if you use a sunscreen stick in your routine. So now last but not least, the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist Sunscreen, SPF 100 plus. Um, it is water resistant up to 80 minutes. So we got a lot of water resistance in a lot of these formulas here. Um, if you wanna check back, you know, all the sunscreens will be linked below so you can, you know, uh, check through the ingredients and you know, the features and all that other stuff. Um, the filters here, uh, avabenzone, homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene, and oxybenzone. So of course this is a chemical sunscreen. This very much looked and performed similarly to the uh, Walgreens body sport spray. Um, I didn't see that much of a difference there. Now SPF 100 plus, is that a thing? Well, clearly it's a thing, uh, but does it make that much of a difference? So typically we're told that anything over a 50 is not going to give us that much more protection, but studies have shown that because y'all be out there not applying enough sunscreen, you know who you are, <laughs> that a higher SPF will at least, you know, for your little half-ass applications, will at least get you to, you know, the minimum amount of sun protection that, you know, is recommended, right? So if you half-ass uh, SPF 100, maybe you'll get somewhere around a 50, right? So that's generally the idea there. Um, this one, again, very lightweight, satin matte finish, but it de definitely reminded me of the Wolverine Sport. If I had to choose between the two, I would just go with whatever was on sale, personally. Um, but, you know, maybe you like <laughs> the way the Neutrogena can looks more than the, um, the Walgreens one. Uh, Neutrogena, you're gonna get five ounces and the Neutrogena one. The Neutrogena one is $11 and 19, I paid $11 and 19 cents, but of course price is gonna differ around the country. Um, so the Walgreens one is a little bit more. I would just get whatever's on sale, whatever, cause you know, Walgreens may have a sale on Neutrogena stuff where it's like buy one, get one free, and maybe it may make more sense for you to get the Neutrogena one, um, you know? But to me, there was no real huge difference. But th you know, that's why I'm glad there's so many sunscreens out there because depending on you know, your lifestyle, the your skin type, your skincare needs, you know, your budget, you know, there are lots of sunscreens out there for, for everyone. And again, like I mentioned earlier, check and see if you can do the flexible savings account. Um, hit up your human resources and see if that's a, something that's available to you because then you can get even more savings when you're buying your sunscreens. All right, folks, so my Uber Eats is almost here, so which means that this is the, <laughs> the end of the video. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you have ever used a FSA account and what you typically use it on. Did you know that you can you know, buy sunscreens with an FSA? Let me know that below as well. Have you tried any of these sunscreens? Would you try any of these sunscreens? Let me know as well. Follow me on social, links will be in the description box. And I'll see you fine folks in my next video. Bye guys.